got the package today from Aquaramax. Shipped it overnight from Utah. Has my morning geckos and isopods in it. Been really looking forward to this. It's taken a little while because first time we tried to do this, he mailed it, and the post office was kind of flaky. They, the post office accepted it. But the airport didn't, so let's see. These are the dwarf whites. I was really happy to get them. Really looking forward to this. Where are you guys? <laughs> Geckos just kind of watch it, everything. Oh, they're there. Teeny, teeny, teeny babies. You see? You probably can't see those on the screen. The dwarf whites look almost like springtails when you put them together sometimes. They're so small. <laughs> I love how the geckos just watching everything. Then, ooh, pretty, so pretty. These are the Armadillium Klugii Montenegro, and he sent me some extra, which I really appreciate. Because I was kind of cheaping out on these. You know, because they're kind of a slightly expensive isopod. And I'm cheap. So I was hoping to start with at least a few and hoping that would be enough. But he sent me extras, which I really appreciate. And they look really nice. Look how pretty those are. And look at this one's all balled up. So the armadillidium are what we kind of think of as roly polies. They roll up when they're disturbed. And I really love these guys. They're just so pretty. I'm hoping to put them in with my garter snake. Oh wow, there's quite a few in here. Because I think that it, they'd really look nice together. And they kind of have similar environments. Wow, that's so awesome. I was so looking forward to these guys. They're just stunning. <laughs> the gecko is just observing. So these are the powder orange. And these are one of those ones that do really, really well just about anywhere you put them. 
So I was hoping to get them. But they're also escape artists, so. Every time I watch a video, somebody going through their isopod bins. Seems like these guys are in where they're not supposed to be. Oh. <laughs> really active. So I have Porcelia Lavis Orange. And I really like them. And these look slightly different. These are the powder orange. The Porcelinocides Prunosis. <laughs> I cannot pronounce half of these words. Look how active they are. They're doing really good. And so I got the orange of those. And I also got... Oh, hold on. Oh, that's the other. Oh, wait. Okay, so these are the peach. Which I thought were really pretty. They're going to go in with my leopard geckos. One of my, I'm going to do a bioactive leopard gecko tank. They're just kind of soft and gentle looking. And so these are Silistic Convexus, I think it is, curly isopods. They curl up like the Armadillidium, but they curl up in a teardrop shape instead of perfectly circular. And they like it really moist. As you can tell, look at all of them just piled in at the dampest spots. So I'm worried about keeping these because it's really dry here and they like it moist and cool. Wow, there's a lot in there. Thank you, Russ. These are really awesome. Look how pretty they are. They're so cute. See, they kind of have little pointy booties to make that teardrop shape. It's really neat. And some of these I bought intending them to go in certain places, but then I reconsider because I want to put them here or I want to put them there. And so I'm always changing my mind. So I also got some springtails. These are supposed to be an air, a type that do better in slightly more arid conditions because the springtails I have are temperate spring, springtails and I worry about using them in my leopard gecko tanks. So, you see one there, and there. Camera probably can't pick it up very well. They're very cute, though. I actually like springtails more than isopods in some regards. They're just so interesting to watch teeny tiny life going everywhere and doing everything. So I also got four morning geckos. Which I was really happy to end up with because... I already have two that I got from Josh's Frogs. I, the two I have are yellow-bellied morning geckos, and they're not sure where they're from. Uh, some people say maybe uh, Fiji, but morning geckos are th throughout all of Polynesia and Micronesia and all those places, so they could be from wherever. These ones are from Hawaii originally. And I was hoping to get four because uh, I'm two are going for somebody else. 
And look how cute their little hands are. They just stick in there. And these aren't full grown either. They'll get a little bit bigger. They're about a little bit smaller than the girls I have now. And then this is a teeny tiny baby. So little, so cute. So adorable. And then should be another one in here. Oh, there she is. And notice I said she because they're essentially all female species. There are rumors and scatterings of males. But they're like 99% female, which, how do they reproduce them? Because they clone themselves, essentially. They do something called parth parthenogenesis, and they lay eggs that are just like them. Look how pretty the back. They vary a bit in coloring. Some of them are darker, and then they flare up like crested geckos do as well. And they're sticky, and they're sneaky, and they're easy. it's really easy for them to escape. So you have to, even the exoterra, they can escape an exoterra if you don't wall it in properly. The ones I have, and then eventually these girls are going to have uh, bioactive enclosures. But they got to get to work on those because it takes a little bit extra work. Where are you, little girl? And they're very fast and very cute. Come on. No, you're in there. Well, she's probably tucked herself in. So we're just going to see her when we put her in the new cage because I don't want to open this until they are getting dumped right into their cage because else there will be geckos everywhere and you can't catch them and they're super tiny and dangerous to have out because cats and micro geckos are probably not the world's best combination that little one look how cute it is and they're super tiny. Look at my th thumbnail next to them. So adorable. So we're going to get these guys in some cages. So they can rehydrate because look at how thirsty she is. So thirsty. Of course, once I put them in the container, we won't see them again very often. Mine hang on the sides of their containers a bit, and then sometimes I can use a flashlight and seek them out, but it's not the easiest thing in the world. But yeah, so I'm really looking forward to these girls. And then all the isopods and the springtails, really love them. Thank you so much, Russ. And... I'll put a link to his site down below. He's Aquarimax on YouTube. And he's got some really awesome stuff. I'll be doing another order later in the spring when it warms up. Because it's a pain shipping right now. But I couldn't wait because I'm greedy like that. Yeah. So don't forget to watch his videos on how to care for these creatures too. He's got lots of really great stuff. So. Oh. <laughs> Little panicky.
so cute.